Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing great. Um, I was just filling up the bathtub, I was going to soak for a minute, and then I just like kept feeling called to my cards, and I just kind of felt called to do this reading. So I hope that it resonates with somebody, and um, pardon the lighting, it's like, I know it's a little weird and funky, but um, it's quite late, and the bright lights are just like too much for me right now, but um, anyway, yeah, let's... Um, Let's hop right into it. Okay, here we go. What do we have, spirit? What's going on? So tired. Before I was um, getting ready to do this reading, when I right when I grabbed my cards, I felt like a... Um, it felt like anxiety or something like that. It was like I was having a hard time breathing. Almost like somebody was having a panic attack, maybe. Something like that. It would be like a heart chakra issue. Okay. And this is the highest white light. Just give me a message from my collective. Thank you. Okay, so there's a happy home. That's good. And the Ten of Pentacles. Um, let's see what's going on. Why? Why was I pulled to do this reading? What's the scoop? What's the tea? Okay, somebody has opened up their heart. That's how I'm taking this. That's good. Um, with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. To me, that's what this indicates. Just the way that it's um, next to the Ten of Pentacles. Um, Somebody is very grounded. That's amazing. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. What if this reading is just to like congratulate somebody? Like, that'd be so beautiful. We're doing some really great work. Maybe somebody just finished like coming out of the dark night of the soul or just had an awakening or something like that. This, um, this is kind of what I think I'm gathering out of this reading. That's wonderful. Let's mess with these cards. Just... Spice it up. Answer to the past white light. What's the scoop, please? Okay, we have two of these. Alright, so, um, you're getting your strength back. Um, you may have felt a little, um, like, um, the vibe that I'm getting is, like, controlled, unable to expand, okay? And, um, but you're getting your strength back, so that's wonderful news. Um, yeah, okay. Ancestors of the Highest White Light, okay. Yes, the Ace of Cups, that's awesome, in the upright position. Okay, so you're, um, you're filling your, your cup. You, it feels to me like you went through something that was just really emotionally exhausting, and you're getting, yep, there we go. You went through something that was really emotionally exhausting, but you are coming out on the other end. And that's wonderful news. Let's see what else, Spirit. Okay, yeah, we have the Knight of Swords. So somebody's coming in with a message, an emotional message, um, probably for some uh, emotional stability um, to give you, perhaps. Or somebody who will be emotionally stable, rather. Okay. You're just, like, sick of fighting. Okay. Um, let's actually, let's clarify this a little bit further. Okay, I may have jumped the gun with regards to the emotional um, message. Um, it could be emotionally sloppy, too, this message. Because what I'm seeing is, is this person is glowing back up, they were depressed for a little while, they're getting their strength back, somebody's coming in with a message, Knight of Swords, relatively quickie, quickly, quickie, ooh, uh-oh, booty call? No, okay. So let's clarify this Knight of Swords a little bit, and um, because the Knight of Cups can be, you know, an emotional message, um, an emotional message of, of truth, but is that emotionally healthy for you? 
for my strength card here for you, my collective, my queen of pentacles, queen or king, it doesn't matter, or is it emotionally fulfilling for this other person who may have been causing fights in the past, all right? So that's what I want to clarify, please, spirit. Ancestors of the highest white light, what's going on? Okay, yeah, so we have the Justice card in the reverse position, and then we also have the Sun card in the reverse position that kind of um, just fell out together. So um, it looks like this person is a little off balance. Um, and, ugh, fucking ugh, psychic vampires, yo, man, what the heck? Like, they just can always tell when you're glowing up, and then all of a sudden they want to just, like, ride right in there and just, like, you know get some of that good energy. Okay, let's, um, all right, let's clarify a little bit further, please, Spirit. Ancestors of the Highest White Light, give me a little more, please. Okay, yeah, let's do the Moon card. Um, they could be depressed. Um, and we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse position now. Obviously, I have, um, two decks out here, so this person is just, like, unstable this could be a man or a woman it doesn't matter but they're unstable um and they are they could even be just a little like delusional <laughs> um so um probably a lot of ego you know in the way um some the type of person who really doesn't um read other people very well and um, really is only concerned with um, what they want and um, having their needs met. I'm surprised that the emperor in the reverse position has not popped out, but it, it might not be that kind of an archetype, but it's sort of that type of an archetype. Um, just somebody who really doesn't think about anybody but themselves, honestly. Okay, so let's keep pulling some cards. Ancestors of the Highest White Light. Yes, here we go. All right, and we've got the High Priestess card here. So you know, you can feel this energy coming towards you, all right? Um, so if you have been feeling like you can't breathe or you're having like little mini panic attacks or if like just today was just like a weird funky day for you and you didn't know why, it's because you're feeling this person trying to come back into your energy and um and you you can sense that on an energetic level okay high priestess here all right and so i mean like obviously you can do whatever you want obviously but like if this resonates you're glowing up right now and this person is coming in you know with the sun card in the reverse position the justice card in the reverse position you know the queen of pentacles in the reverse position like this person is not really in a very stable place and if you've had a history with this person where they there was fighting or arguing or just any type of conflict and it just wasn't really working out i would highly advise you to just like i mean i don't know um like every situation is different, but just really be um, be very strong with your boundaries and honestly just like keep glowing up. I don't know how else to say it, but just keep glowing up so that you are at a place that is so light and so high and just so um, you're doing so good that like, I mean, frequency wise, this person wouldn't even know how to approach you. Okay. That's that is the best way, I think, to, like, avoid psychic vampires and things like that is to just, like, literally, like, not even focus on, like, the panic attacks, the anxiety, the f the, the feelings that you might be having, the, um, what is the word that I'm looking for, um, the, uh... The gut feeling, the gut feelings that you're having, okay? So, like, this this reading, I hope, is confirming to you that this gut feeling is, like, legitimate. And just, I mean, like, if, if you are feeling this way, like, um, you're right, you know, and just prepare for that, you know, and, and just know that this person is, you know, not, like, it doesn't... It's not like they don't have the best of intentions. They have the best of intentions for themselves. They just don't have the best of intentions for you necessarily. So, and you're doing amazing things right now for yourself. And um, don't let them get in the way of that, basically, is what I'm saying. Okay? Like, just, I don't know, block them. You know? Don't even um, 
talk to them. Be polite, be nice, you know what I mean? Because you don't want to, if it's, especially if it's a narcissist, you don't want to, like, start a whole, like, gaslighting, you know, correspondence. Like, oh, look, bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck. Three of Swords. So somebody broke your heart. And, um, and you have found your balance. You took action. And you, you've rebalanced yourself, all right? You ended this cycle, okay? And now here you are, you're a star, okay? You're a star and you're the high priestess. And, um, like, don't let them back in. Just don't let them back in. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that is the reading. And I hope that it helps somebody, resonates with somebody. And um, just, like, I don't know, focus on loving yourself so much that when somebody tries to approach you, without um, the right in type of intentions for you that it just it doesn't even like bother you you can just politely decline and you know um, and be graceful about it don't try do whatever you need you know what I mean like do whatever you need to do for yourself obviously this person is doing whatever they need to do for themselves or they feel like they need to do for themselves really what they need to do is meditate and like you know deal with themselves but they they don't want to do that they want you to deal with them so don't you're dealing with yourself and you're doing a great job so okay if it resonated um please like and subscribe and i would love to know in the comments too if it resonated and um i hope that you guys are doing really really good i'm gonna go take a bubble bath and maybe you should too they're amazing epsom salt oof, the best ever just you i sleep so well after epsom salt baths anyways um yeah i hope you guys are doing great and i will catch up with you later bye love you guys bye